Uh, what, what is your uh, view on this? The Tories have done better than I mm. would have predicted. In February, I predicted, as you know, totally here wrong. on the show... OK? <laughs> I admit it that <laughs> Boris Johnson... Oh, you love this, don't you? You love I'm not going to gloat too much. That Boris Johnson would have to resign. You were wrong. You can have a go at me in a minute. Oh, well, don't we're worry. All gonna have, yeah, well, yeah, you yeah. wanted him but to go as well, he's actually, He's unsinkable. Claire. He's unsinkable. <laughs> uh, and now, I have to tell you, uh, I'm, I'm a fair player, the results here are incredibly good for the Conservative of Party. Um, they were playing it up to 800 losses. That was never realistic. But I thought they'd get three, 400. And they've only actually got much a fraction of that. So Boris Johnson, as far as these local election uh, results are concerned, he's safe as houses. Mm. There are other issues for him. But I'm honest enough to say that he did wrong. Uh, so I did wrong. And he did... Maybe he did wrong, but not wrong he enough to lose his seat. You were just simply wrong. I was simply <laughs> wrong. I accept it, Claire. I can feel yeah. her eyes burning well, into well, the Claire, back of my well, head. But Claire was also saying that he should go as well, but he's not gone. He's like Teflon. He's non-stick. Well, he is. And I, I just feel a little bit uncomfortable saying that this is, you know, some kind of huge success when it kind of isn't. When you look at councils such as Southampton, which the Conservatives had for one year and has now gone back to Labour. Mm -hmm. We have Tandridge, we have Maidstone, we have Tunbridge Wells, just in my area alone. So that surrounds the district that I live in. And you sort of look at those and you think, OK, now we project this out for another year. This isn't great. These aren't... All of the seats that we're up at the moment aren't traditional sort of Tory heartland seats. So I think this is only a little bit of a view as to what we've got coming down the line if this continues. Potentially. Absolutely, but we've potentially. Still got Keir Starmer's relegation. Oh, I've not even started. Because the thing is, right, he went on and on. And, I mean, he just wouldn't let it go. And yeah. we all wanted him to let it go. We wanted them to get on with the business of running the government. But he called the business of running government a distraction from Partygate. Now he's saying, oh, let's get on with doing the cost of living crisis. And it's like, well, hold on a minute. Remember before you were calling that a distraction because now you don't want us to focus on beer game and it's not looking good for him.